ஹலோ ஆல் வெல்கம் டு லெட்ஸ் லேர்ன் ஆப்டமெண்ட்ரி இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி தி பார்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஜாக்சன் கிராஸ் சிலிண்டர் ஜாக்சன் கிராஸ் சிலிண்டர் இட் இஸ் அ டெக்னிக் யூஸ்ட் இன் சப்ஜெக்டிவ் ரிஃப்ராக்ஷன் த ப்ரெசன்ட் டெக்னிக் இஸ் டிஸ்கிரைப்ட் பை எட்வர்ட் ஜாக்சன் அண்ட் ஹென்ஸ் த நேம் ஜாக்சன் கிராஸ் சிலிண்டர் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கால்டு ஸ்லிப் சிலிண்டர் டெக்னிக் பிகாஸ் வி ஃபிலிப் த ஜேசிசி இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் தி பேஷன்ஸ் ஐ so as to present them with two different cylinder powers and ask them to compare the clarity between the two positions it is used to refine the cylindrical axis to refine the cylindrical power to discover any astigmatism if present a typical jcc is a spherical cylindrical lens in which a spherical power component is combined with the cylindrical power component of twice the power of sphere and of opposite sign Example, a plus 0.25 diopter spherical combined with minus 0.5 diopter cylindrical. Here, twice the spherical power of 0.25 is 0.5 diopter cylindrical. The spherical power is positive here, so the cylindrical will be negative. In JCC, the minus cylinder is ground on one side and the plus cylinder is ground on other side. It has markings on the periphery of the lens. The marking indicates the principal meridians. A handle is placed 45 degree away from the principal meridians. It helps the lens to be flipped by rotation of the handle. There are a few different color codes available for marking. In this model, the red mark indicates minus cylinder axis and the green mark indicates plus cylinder axis. The corresponding power meridians are shown in the optical cross. Let's see an example. Here we are going to align the principal meridians of the JCC with the vertical and horizontal axis of the eye. In position 1, the minus cylinder axis is aligned with the vertical meridian and the plus cylinder axis is aligned with the horizontal meridian of the eye. In the second position, the minus cylinder axis is aligned with the horizontal meridian. and the plus cylinder axis is aligned with the vertical meridian this is achieved by flipping the handle in the first position we present plus 0.5 diopter spherical with minus 0.5 cylindrical at 90 degree in front of the eye and in the second position we present minus 0.5 spherical with plus 0.5 cylindrical at 90 degree axis note that the cylindrical power is twice the power of spherical with opposite sign in the same manner i have given here the power meridians for 0.5 and 0.75 jcc for your understanding there are different color codings available to indicate the plus and minus axis meridians we should always confirm the plus and minus axis markings before beginning the procedure usually red dot indicates minus axis and white dot indicates plus axis In the United Kingdom the opposite convention exists that is red indicates plus and white indicates minus there are red and green lines available and red and black lines are also available usually red indicates minus axis and green or black indicates plus axis there are different jcc power ranges available we have to choose the power based on the patient uh, best corrected visual acuity use 0.5 diopter if the visual acuity is 69 or better use 0.5 if the visual acuity is 612 or worse use 0.75 if the visual acuity is 624 or worse use 1 diopter if the visual acuity is 660 or worse The main advantage of JCC is that it can add or subtract cylindrical power relative to the correcting cylinder in the trial frame without changing the spherical power that is the spherical equivalent of JCC is 
This ensures that the circle of least confusion is maintained on the retina throughout the test. We will prove this with an example. The correcting lens placed in the trial frame before the beginning of JCC test test plus 1 with minus 0.5 at 180. Now we use 0.2 adapter JCC. At one position, the power of JCC will be plus 0.25 with minus 0.5 adapter cylindrical. In the other position, the power will be minus 0.25 with plus 0.5 adapter cylindrical. In position 1, the minus axis is placed horizontally, so the power of JCC will be plus 0.25 spherical with minus 0.5 cylindrical at 180. When plus 1 with minus 0.5 at 180, which is already placed in the trial frame, when combined with the JCC in the first position, gives the resultant power of plus 1.25 spherical with minus 1 cylindrical at 180 degree axis. In the second position, the plus axis is placed horizontally, so the power of JCC will be minus 0.25 spherical with plus 0.5 at 180. The resultant power in position 2 is plus 0.75 adapter spherical with no cylindrical power. Now, let's calculate the spherical equivalent for all the three combinations. This is the formula for calculating spherical equivalent. The spherical equivalent of initial correction is plus 0.75 adapter. The spherical equivalent in the first flip position is plus 0.75 adapter spherical. The spherical equivalent in the second flip position is plus 0.75 adapter spherical. Note that the spherical equivalent of all the above three conditions is same that is plus 0.75 adapter spherical. This shows that the spherical equivalent of JCC is zero which makes the circle of least confusion to be maintained on the retina throughout the test. Now we have seen some basic optics of Jackson cross cylinder. I hope this will be useful to you guys. We will see the principle and procedure of JCC in our next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Let's Learn Optometry for more optometry and eye care videos.